Hi, my name is Katherine Kausert, and today I will be talking about the composer Josepha Barbara von Arnhammer. What's interesting about Josepha is that she went by multiple names and also had two other last ways of misspelling her last name. But the one that you see on the screen is the most popular way to spell her last name. She was baptized on September 25th, 1758 and died January 30th, 1820. She had three piano teachers, the most famous being Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who we suspect um, instructed her in music theory and composition, and she composed pian mainly piano music. Why did I choose her? She was one of Mozart's first editors. They performed together in concert, and Mozart composed a sonata for two pianos for the two of them to play. My piece is the six variations of the bird catcher I am indeed. This is an aria in Mozart's opera, The Magic Flute, and this piece was written in Offenbach, Germany in 1792 or 1793, and Offenbach is near Frankfurt, Germany. This piece was dedicated to Baroness Teresa de Margelique. It is suspected that how Josepha knew Baroness Marjolique was um, Baroness Marjolique was a paying subscriber to a Mozart concert series in 1784. So she probably saw Josepha perform with Mozart at one of his concerts. This is how my piece was publicized by the publishing companies. The first name that you see on the screen is the original publishing company that had the rights to Josepha's music, which is Artaria & Co. And they were one of the most important music publishing firms of the late 18th and 19th century. And this was Mozart's principal publisher. And the second name that you see is Johann Andre. And he was a German musician, composer, and music publisher of the classical period. The publishing company that has the rights to Josepha's music today is um, the Hildegard Publishing Company. And they published um, pieces written by women composers. The music that I will be playing from was reprinted with permission of J.K. Hall, which was a previous imprint of Macmillan Publishing USA, and the editor of my piece is Eve R. Mayer. My piece is a theme and variations. The main theme uh, comes back in each of the variations, and it is very focused on rhythm. It, it has very complex rhythms in each hand. And it starts in G major, goes to G minor, and then back to G major. It also has chromaticism in some places, trills and mordants, and grace notes. Her father is Johann Michael Arnhammer, and her mother is Elizabeth Timmer. Her mother comes from the Timmer family, which is a family of musicians. They had 15 children together, eight of whom died early on, and three children reached an age over 30, Josepha being one of them. She died at the age of 62. Josepha's birthplace cannot be found on her baptismal entry, but we can identify it by the death entries of her siblings. She was born at stat number 965, and today we know that as Himsel Ford Gassi number 6. Josepha's in relationship with Mozart is very interesting. We can get some insight onto this from the Letters of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Volume 2. And all of those letters were written by Mozart to Mozart's father. 
Um, what's interesting is Mozart really very much enjoyed spending time with her father, more so than he enjoyed spending time with Josepha herself. He thought of Josepha as a very good musician, but he did not enjoy her company as much as her father. Josepha and Mozart performed together possibly five times. Three of them we know for sure. Two are like iffy on. And Mozart dedicated several violin sonatas to Josepha. And since 1781, she was supervising the printing of several of the works by Mozart. And she was editing um, the first editions of several of Mozart's pieces. And then after her father's death in 1782, uh, it was reported that she moved to, in with Baroness Waldston. Why she did not stay with any of her other family members is unclear. In 1786, she married a civil servant named Johann Bessing, and she was still active as a musician and gave piano lessons. At the turn of the century, Josepha gave a concert at the Vienna Berg Theater almost every year. She gave 10 performances between 1788 and 1813. Uh, Austria participated in the first and third of the three partitions of Poland. In 1804, the Empire of Austria was formed. In 1804, Austria and other Allied forces invaded France to bring an end to the Neapolitan Wars. The classical era practice gave a lighter and clearer texture. Variety and contrast became more pronounced than before. Classical music was given a clearer musical form than before. Sonata form was becoming more popular and the pieces were very focused on rhythm. And here is my work cited list, which brings us to the end of my presentation. Thank you.